Hey everyone, it's Em. Welcome back to Beauty with Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a drugstore haul. So I picked up a few little things that I really wanted to share with you. So, so let's do this. Let's start with what's on my lips because I'm sure I'm going to get the question. I've been looking for Essence products forever. I know they're sold in Canada at Shoppers, but every time I would go, seriously, the stand would look like World War III. Like it was completely destroyed. Everything was open or nothing was left. And I wanted to pick up a few things. And the selection is actually not that great but I was able to find most of the things I was interested in. First thing I'm wearing on my lips is the lip liner in the color Satin Mauve, which is the color 06. And I have to say, they are so creamy and pigmented and I love that color, like look at this. It's like the most beautiful, like mauve nude color. Everybody needs this, they are so creamy. I was really impressed. I have to test out how long they last and if they start being drying throughout the day, but so far, really impressed. Like the pigmentation and creaminess puts to shame some of my MAC lip liners. I was also able to get the color Wish Me a Rose, which is a beautiful, like, warmer uh, pink. Mine got so destroyed. Like, it feels like someone... I don't know what happened to it. Like, it's completely destroyed. Anyway, kind of a warmer pink, and it will suit a lot of different skin tones too. Again, really soft, really creamy. I also wanted the color, I think it's Soft Berry, but I couldn't find it anywhere so i'm really jealous if you can find this but really recommend trying these especially this color everybody needs that one i've also heard great things about their lipsticks but i'm mostly of a uh, matte lipstick kind of girl but they are really creamy and a lot of people wanted me to try them so that's what i'm doing i picked up my two favorite colors at least so far the first one being this one which is natural beauty and it's a gorgeous color I will show you the maximum intensity so that's what it is and if i only swatch it once it's a really bad swatch, but you know, it is pretty sheer as you can see, so you can build up the color or not. I have to say, they kind of smell all like Play-Doh, like fruity but plasticky, which not the biggest fan of, but it doesn't bother me on my lips right now. And I like that there's a little E right there engraved in the lipstick, so really nice touch. We're so affordable, so like I said, the color Natural Beauty in 07, that's not the one that I'm wearing. I'm currently wearing the other one, which is the color barely there, number 06, which kind of reminds me more like something like faux by MAC and my type of color. But again, like I said, it's a creamy finish. So one swatch, it is a bit more pigmented than the other one. And if I build up the color, oh, hello. <laughs> it could be brownie mauve colors, you can see. So again, like you can see, they're pretty sheer. You can build them up, but I don't know yet how long they will last. Keep in mind, my natural lip color is pretty pigmented, but I did layer them as thick and like as opaque as I could make them. So you can really see what it would look like. I'm actually planning on doing a get ready with me like first impression with all my essence products. That should be up next week, so keep an eye out for that. But so far, as you can see, pretty good. I've also heard a few great things about their blushes and they're so inexpensive and they looked really cute, but I did not not see those ever before I really started looking because they were literally like two centimeter over the floor. Like so low, I could not see them. So that's probably why there was still some left. I decided to try one first because I didn't know I would feel about it. I got the color 02, which is baby doll, which it's gonna be a matte finish. It's almost like a little bit satin, but I love actually a little pattern on it. Like it's a really nice touch. I feel like everything has like nice touches for something that is so cheap. And as you can see, gorgeous color, obviously. They had four colors and this is really the one that really was calling my name. It's gonna be a pinky coral color. I thought that would be really easy to pull off and to test out the formula. I actually expected the blush to be a little bit more powdery because, you know, when you buy cheaper uh, blushes, they tend to be like that. But it actually really isn't. This is just one swatch. It's pigmented, it's blendable. Like if I try to blend it a bit, as you can see, it looks gorgeous. They also had a few darker shades. So if you have deep skin tones, you will be able to get there was one that was like a bright coral shade, so that one would look great. The last thing I picked up from them was their bronzer. This one is the Sun Bronze Blonde or Lighter Skin. This is the color 01 Natural, and as you can see, first of all, it's humongous. You can see like the size of my face, and it smells really strongly of like, um, you know, the beach, like sunscreen and stuff, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I know a lot of people do, so you will love this bronzer if you do. Again, nice touch on the little pattern on it. If I swatch it, it's kind of a yellow-ish uh, kind of bronzer, which will look better on uh, a little bit warmer skin tones than mine, but I wanted to try it for myself. It's a matte finish, there's no shimmer or glitter through it, which is good, that's usually what I prefer. And as you can see, it is still blendable. I will test it out to decide if I like it or not, obviously, when I do the get ready with me, but again, I didn't have much to lose for that price. It was really affordable once again. Everything was like under $5, so actually. Let's look at this. 
So the blush was $3.50, the bronzer was $5, and the lipstick were $3.50, and the lip liners $2. Seriously, you all need your lip liners. <laughs> they only had like six shades, but there was like only like two or three that were always left. I've been looking for these products for so long, like for months, and I finally found like one stand that was decent. I've seen a few people mentioning that they had a great highlighter, but it was nowhere, like there was no, not even a space for it. So I don't know if it's just for the US, which if it is, I'm really jealous. I'm actually forgetting something. I wanted to try the mascara because I've heard so many people say it's like the best mascara ever. It's $5, super affordable. I've heard a few times it was being discontinued, but I don't think it is because it was everywhere. So I was able to find one that wasn't opened. It's actually pretty big and the brush is humongous as you can see, but it has really fine bristle and it seems like it's gonna be easy to use. So I do have high hopes for this, but again, it will be in the first impression video. So those are all the Essence products I was able to find. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite products from them because I want to try more. So I was at Shoppers trying to find these and obviously other things happen because that's just how it is, right? I saw the new CoverGirl foundation and I tried it on my hand because it was $15 at Shoppers and I was like, ah, I'm going to Walmart, like I'll just test it out on my hand and see how we feel about it. And I tried, I think it was the color 220 which didn't match my hand perfectly. And then I went about and got my stuff and looked at my hand and Holy moly, I should have taken a picture. It was so orange that I didn't decide to pick up the foundation because I just didn't want to look like a Hoompa Loompa. I feel like a lot of CoverGirl foundation tend to oxidize and it was like really intense. So, and considering that I thought it was like good coverage in my hand, but like I'm not a huge high coverage type of person and it felt almost a bit drying and have dry skin. So I didn't know what to think. I know a lot of people say that they like it, but I don't think I will pick it up just because, I don't know. I was really turned off by the orange hand thing. But I decided to try the new Maybelline one, which is the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. I got the color Ivory, which is, looks like this. I thought it would be a good match, but actually it's a bit lighter than it looks in the packaging. So if you look at it and you're like, ooh, that's a bit dark for me, like swatch if you can. But as you can see, I'll swatch it. Might as well. So just to let you see, like, it looks way darker in the packaging than it does on my skin. So don't be afraid if it looks a bit too dark for you in the packaging. Again, I will do a first impression uh, wearing this so you can see how it looks like throughout the day. Same thing with the concealer, which I got the color ivory once again. This one does look the same as the packaging, as you can see. It does say that it's like oil-free, but it's supposed to be moisturizing. That's why I decided to try it because I'm usually not the type of person that will use a super stay type thing. That I usually don't have issues with my foundation lasting throughout the day because it is dry, but sometimes it will absorb it a little bit if it's like a moisturizing foundation, but... Usually I don't have issues, but I still wanted to try it to let you know if it works on dry skin or not. But really exciting. This one doesn't oxidize. I tried it on my hand too because I was so afraid it would do the same thing, but didn't have any issue. Speaking of Maybelline, you might have realized that I did the lip swatch video on the new Maybelline cream matte lipsticks. I did purchase these with the help of a subscriber. So thank you, Rebecca, because now I'm able to try them and I really, really enjoy them. I will link down below the video I did with the lip swatches. They are incredible. The color selection is amazing. Like I didn't even think they could come out with 10 more shades and still love them all and it's pretty much the case here. I will include pictures like they look all awesome and I know a lot of people will like this color which is Nude Nuance which kind of looks a bit like my lips but a bit more brown. My favorite personally has to be All Fired Up which is just the best color ever. This is like summer in a tube. Everybody needs that color. It will suit absolutely everyone. So really happy with those. I highly recommend them. They are currently available in the US. You should be able to start finding them. I know a few people had issues, but they are currently on the Ulta website too. So I will link that down below, but you should be able to find them. Canada, unfortunately, they are only coming out in November, which I know. And they will be limited edition, but I will try to get my hands on a few more and maybe do a giveaway. So. We'll try. Last thing, Maybelline did send me the color blur color, so there will be a lip swatch video. There's a little, okay. <laughs> uh, it's still there. So there will be a lip swatch video, uh, probably not this weekend, but next one because I'm currently moving. But then I will be able to lip swatch all of them. They look so pretty. I haven't had a chance to test them out yet, but look at those. They are gorgeous, some crazy colors. They are really creamy. Like I tried them on my hand, obviously, because I have no patience, but how do, oh my God. Every single time I swatch in my hand, I don't realize that you have to twist it in the bottom. I'm always like, why does it not twist? So here you go. So this is the color Orange Yuglad. They're like extremely creamy. Like I barely touch my hand. It's like, whoa. I do like the pencil form. And on the other side, you have a little smudger. It's kind of feeling like 
rubbery. So you can see on the ads they have like the ombre effect with like uh, the color in the middle of your lips and just and it just does a ombre effect to the rest of your lips. I know it's really popular in South Korea and I think it looks really gorgeous. It's so different. We never do that here. We actually like put lip liner a little bit over our line. So again, really excited to try those. There's a great selection of color. Really excited to test out how they last throughout the day because they're really creamy. So I'm kind of afraid they're gonna like become really messy. I will test them out two ways. I'm gonna test them like as I would usually wear them and uh, using just the ombre effects. So this is my haul. There's a few videos that I will link down below and a few more that that are coming soon. If you first impression and lip swatches, let me know in the comments down below. I will do a Q&A as soon as I moved in so I'm able to start filming again. Let me know if you have any questions for me. I will link down below also. I have a uh, 50 random facts video about me so there's probably a lot of questions that are answered in that video but if I didn't, please feel free to ask questions and I will answer them next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up and to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.